Well, they said that that they're proud of me for doing all the research on my own and that they want me to keep on trying just as hard as I am right now. Um, I did my project on balloon rocket car featuring Newton's laws of motion. My question was, will my balloon rocket car go further at, in, with a larger nozzle or will it go further with a smaller nozzle? Hypothesis. I predict that my balloon rocket car will go further with a larger nozzle with six straws than the other two with fewer straws. Materials. A few of my, the materials that I used were three drinking straws, four, four, four bottle caps, one empty Coke bottle container, two skewer sticks, and scissors. Procedure. The first thing I did when, when I got my project together where I aligned two of the straws on the bottom of my Coke bottle container. Then I duct taped them off. Make sure to cut it off the axis or else your wheel and axle will not move properly. I blew up three, three same size balloons to stretch them out equally. Then I attached them to a number of drinking straws of your choice. For example, I used two, four, and six straws. Then, then I, then attach them using your duct tape and blow in through through your straws and that will cause the, the balloon to expand. Pinch the mouth of the balloon, then let it go and your balloon rocket car will move. Results. The f for my two straws, the first time I got eight feet eight inches, the second try I got nine feet, and the third try I got eight feet four inches. For my four straws, the first time I got 11 feet 6 inches, the second try I got 12 feet 4 inches, and the third try I got 12 feet. For my six straws, all three times I got 13 feet 6 inches. For my research, I went on scholastic.com, explorable.com, nasa.com, and physicsclass.com. In conclusion, I learned that three of Newton's laws of motion are, is what's moving my car. The first law states that that when an object is at rest, it stays at rest. And when an object is in motion, it stays in motion. For example, if this table is not gonna move unless you put force in, into this table. The second law was, the more the force, the more the acceleration. So if you put more force into the balloon, the more it will accelerate. That's why the six straws the six straws with 13 feet 6 inches moved faster and quicker. The third law of motion is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you blow up a balloon and you let it go, you may notice that the, the compressed air goes one way and the balloon goes the other. When the compressed air is pushed one way, that is the action and when and when the balloon is going forward, that is the reaction. Thank you. I learned about Newton's laws of motion, which I didn't know even existed, but um, so I learned that sometimes it takes a lot of force for it to accelerate quicker, and that when something's there, it, it can't really move without force and that I didn't know what an action and a reaction was and I actually learned about it and I'm happy that I did. I screamed from the top of my lungs. Yeah, that's exactly what I did.